Hey there, this is a uh, Asylum City video. It's also a night video. I'm going to talk about energy and how we measure it. Like joules and calories are interchangeable and something I found very interesting when I went to South Africa is that nutritional values in terms of energy units instead of giving us calories which are really kilocalories we uh, read on the package about joules I believe like South African food labels are in joules for energy and that was kind of stunning it's right up there with the robot traffic lights so where do I go with that well okay there's soil in here I'll show you what it looks like it's See, if you're not in on the joke, if you didn't know about the movie Soylent Green, starring Charlton Heston, etc., then you don't get the joke about Soylent, right? So I won't even tell you the joke. I'll just say there's a joke. Go. It's not really, it's like there's a movie illusion. There's a double meaning to Soylent, you could say. Uh, but really, it's also saying it's made out of soy. There's a lot of soy and soylent. And the thing is, there's a lot of other stuff too. There's a long list. I don't think you can see the list here, but look it up on the web or whatever. The idea is this is all it would take to live on. Minus also you need more water and stuff. But I would just say it's useful to have a substance that we'll call a universal nutrient so that we can use that as a measure. So like how many super tankers of Soylent would it take to feed X? So that we're doing our modeling and our computations using a bulk food. And it can be kind of an experimental food or it can be a generic food. But we're talking about joules. We're talking about calories. So in this panel in Martian Math, where I'm talking about measuring energy in terms of joules, ergs that we're feeding... Per time makes it power, right? Energy per time. Like, there's a certain amount of calories in the soylent, but how fast do I consume soylent, right? Do I go through it a whole bag a day? Do I, you know, and I could. That would be about what a person should do. And today, that's pretty much what I'm doing. I'm basically drinking a bag of Soylent. But, you know, you can think of kilowatts going in as electrical power to power your devices, your television, your light bulbs, your washer dryer, your whatever you've got in there. But you can also think of the energy coming in from a big silo full of Soylent just representing what you need to stay alive as a biological being in good health. And again, it's a calculation. It's We use the Soylent as kind of a currency, you could say. So it's for world game modeling purposes, right? But it's also a strategic... Uh, you can think of it as a board game. A board game where you have Soylent cards and other cards, right? So we're trying to promote macroeconomic thinking. If you're coming from economics, we want board games and simulations in world game which are not <clears throat> they don't have the old predictable dark ages theme of who can trounce whose kingdom or whatever like risk or whatever we want to do something more um, more like sim city uh, I thought sim earth was pretty good but we need to get more of the more of the details in there so yeah, it could be a computer game, could be a board game, could just be a lot of story problems. But the idea is we want to think energy all the way through the system, starting with you know solar energy, and ending up with um, consumables of all kinds, um, anything that can drive change, work, whatever. You know the drill, right? Whatever your preferred namespace. I'm not here to tell you exactly how to teach or anything. Just remember Martian math. You saw it here. Talk to you later.